Okay, Bruce and Eric. So I wanted to make this video real quick on an Ultima. And the reason I chose the Ultima is because this one's new, it's redesigned, and the features in this one will be the exact same in a row. So it's just a matter of preference. Um, so for starters, the Ultima comes in five trim levels. So if you start at the base, you have an S, an SR, an SV, an SL, and a Platinum. So currently I'm sitting in the SV, so it's in the middle. It's not the base, not the top, and the price point will be around 25 So brand new. And I just want to go over a few of the features. That way you're familiar with it before you get here. So when you drive it and when we test drive it, you'll already kind of know what's going on. All right. So let's start here. I don't know if it matters for Eric, but you do have the universal home link receivers here. So you can program a garage door or an electric gate to this. And you can use these three buttons to open the gate or the garage door. Now, this will have a sunroof in it. So it'll have it. It doesn't have a full panoramic roof, but it does have a sunroof in it. All right. Now, just going down here, you obviously will have a backup camera. And this is a fully functioning touch screen. Uh, it's eight inches color. Now, one thing you'll notice, it does not have navigation. However, this does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So when you plug your phone in, it will mirror your map will show up in the screen so you don't even really need it on the car because you can plug your phone in and it will show exactly in this so I'm assuming you probably have an iPhone so what Apple CarPlay does if you're not familiar with it you still have traditional Bluetooth where you can make and receive calls but plugging it in using Apple CarPlay you can push this button here and it gives you access to your entire phone so when you push the button on the steering wheel, Siri actually pops up in this screen and you can talk to Siri just like you would if you were talking to your phone. So it basically makes your car hands free with access to your complete phone. All right. Now, if we go down here, you do have dual temperature control and the front seats are heated and you have a heated steering wheel here. All right. Now you do have. An electric brake here. You don't have to push it with your foot or lift it up. It's all a push button now. All right. And safety feature, you do have a blind spot warning. So this will illuminate orange if someone is in your blind spot. And then it'll flash and make an audible dinging sound if you turn your signal on, indicating that you want to move into an area where a car is already occupying. It'll let you know that. All right. So here... You have your controls for your music go forward, backwards. This is your back button. Obviously, volume here. And this changes that screen. So you can go through and look at the different options, all right? Now, over here is where my phone will, camera will focus here. This is where your intelligent mobility system is. All right, there we go. So this right here is intelligent cruise control so basically this car will speed up and slow down automatically so if you set the cruise at 70 and traffic slows down to 65 this car without you hitting the brakes will automatically slow down once traffic speeds back up your car will speed back up to 70 or you can move from behind the slow car and it'll automatically speed back up so intelligent cruise control basically eliminates you having to push the gas or brake when it's on cruise. This right here is your intelligent mobility pro pilot assist and lane departure warning. So this car, if you push this button, you'll see it here changing the screen. So if you push that button, it shows you all of the features forward collision, emergency braking. You have lane departure warning and you have the blind spot I was talking about. So the emergency braking is a safety feature. Whether you have the intelligent cruise control on or not, what will happen is if traffic stops abruptly, your car will apply brake pressure if you did not realize traffic stopped abruptly. That's what the emergency braking is, number one. Number two, this has lane departure warning, which you'll see here. So that's what that is on the right. Lane departure warning. Basically, this car, if it senses the cameras and the sensors, see you're going out your lane, the steering wheel will vibrate and it'll apply brake pressure to certain wheels to get you back in your lane. All right. And the last part of the intelligent mobility is the steering. If the lanes are marked, 
this car will steer for you now it's not meant for you to have your hands off the steering wheel but you can feel it so it's supposed to make for a more, more comfortable ride and it's safer because the car is paying attention even when you're not paying attention so when you combine all those features they even went as far as to make this steering wheel flat on the bottom so it's basically meant for you to just rest your hands here and the car pretty much does everything else um, and this car will sense if your hands come off the steering wheel and it will give you a warning after 10 seconds to say, hey, you need to put your hands back on the steering wheel. Now, Bruce, I know safety was big for you. This car actually has 10 airbags. All right. So you have your traditional airbag here. You want out the steering wheel. You have one for the knees of the driver. You have one for the knees of the passenger. And then you have the curtains that come out the ceiling to protect you from uh, the windows on both sides front and rear so you have one curtain comes down protects you from the windows on the driver's side one that comes down to protect you from the windows on the passenger side so one here two knees here three here four knees here five for the curtain on the passenger side six for the curtain on the well driver side six Passenger side, seven for the curtains. Eight is in this seat. Comes out, protects your body against this. Nine, it does the same thing on this side. And it even has uh, the ones that come out in the back on the rear. So in that seat back there, there's a curtain that comes out on the side to protect you against the door also. And you have one on the other side too. So it has a ton of safety features in it. Um, another good thing with you traveling, this car gets 32 miles to the gallon average and it gets 39 on highway, so almost 40 miles to the gallon. All right, so let's take a look at it because I was telling you it was redesigned, Bruce, and it, they have totally redesigned this. So this is the new 2019 Ultima. You got the LED headlights there. You got the deep V-motion grill here. And you got your uh, fog lights there just to give you a closer look and the lines on this help with the gas mileage so you can see the lines one two and then the edge of the hood goes all the way back so it kind of cuts through the air and you don't have so much resistance that's why it gets the gas mileage it gets yeah you do actually have rims this isn't a wheel cover you actually have some nice rims on it but this is the 2019 Ultima. Like I said, I would do the Rogue, but we can look at the Rogue. The features on the Rogue are exactly the same as the Ultima. But that's the 2019 Ultima.